Hi, my name is Hal Cranmer, and this is an instructional video on how to use my multifamily calculator to determine if you have a profitable investment on your hand as you're looking for a duplex or other multifamily property. Hopefully it helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at hal, H-A-L, at homeswithoutpayments.com. So what I did in this calculator is I put a bunch of reports and inputs on lots of different tabs if you've used Excel before. The first tab is instructions to sort of walk you through the other tabs. And then you just go through the tabs left to right one by one and it should spit out a report for you to let you know if you've got a good property on your hands. The, there are two kinds of squares in these reports and inputs. The yellow highlighted squares are the squares that where you're going to input some information, some numbers that will help the, the tool spit out the report for you. And the white squares are where the tool will automatically calculate a number that you don't need to put anything in. On the input pages, such as input closing cost and second loan cost and rehab costs, um, you can't click on the white squares, it'll just show you the numbers. But on the summary, um, you can click on any of these white squares as well as the monthly profit or payment, first amortization or second amortization, which we'll get into in just a second here. The, um, the instruction page, I tried to break down by tab. So as you are working on a tab and you need to come back and weren't sure what each of the numbers meant, you can just come back here. We have the instructions for which the input tabs mean, the closing cost tab, second loan cost tab, rehab costs, summary tab, and then some operating ratios there to tell you if you've got a good one, the monthly profit tab, and the first and second amortization tabs. So let's go to the input. Well, we've got here is uh, we start with what you think you're going to pay for the property the purchase price so we've got let's say we put 150,000 in in total square feet that way you can compare what the cost per square feet is compared to other properties in the area I don't know if $75 is good or not that could be in um, some real rural place in Nebraska that the per square foot is very small or it could be Beverly Hills where it's very hot and this may be a great deal Equity is how much you want to put down. Normally, lenders are going to ask for 20, 25%. However, with FHA loans, you can just put in 3%. Interest rate on your loan, 5% for a 30-year term or whatever you come up with. Your vacancy rate is uh, you know, how often you think the property is going to be empty. If you think it's going to be once per year, you're going to put that the vacancy rate may be 8.33%, which is one month out of 12. And your monthly rent income, um, why don't we say $1,200? And we're going to say it goes up by a quarter of a percent a year. Now, when you put in, if you put in just a regular percent, like 5%, it'll be fine. But if you put in less than 1%, like a quarter, you need to put 0 0.25. Don't put 0.25, or that will give you a 25% increase, which would be great on your rents, but I don't think that's realistic. So 0 0.25. Okay, monthly other income increases. This could be like coin op laundry. Say you make $60 a month on that, and we'll say that goes up one or one tenth of one percent a year, just a small amount. Let's put some numbers in for repairs and maintenance. Um, let's say that costs you two hundred dollars a month. Property management fees. Hopefully, you'll be doing your own taxes. Let's say that's three hundred a month. Um, insurance, maybe eighty-five dollars a month. Um, you're not paying anyone regularly, but um, it's there if you need it. Utilities. I pay water bills on my duplexes comes out to be about 100 bucks a month. Um, no professional fees. I use uh, a le prepaid legal service that is 25 bucks a month. So I'll put that in. Advertising. I advertise on Craigslist with signs, so I don't believe I have any there. Association fees, none, and, and can't think of any other expenses. So I've got those in. 
I go to my closing costs tab. This is similar to the HUD lender will prepare for you. First, I wanted to give you a um, little spreadsheet in case you're deciding on paying points for your mortgage. So a point, remember, is 1% of the mortgage generally, and it will discount the interest rate on your mortgage. So you can see what it'll do to your payments. If you just fill in the points again, we just fill in the yellow and what the new interest rates will be if you don't pay any points or if you pay points. This is, uh, you can see you've got payments ranging from $818 a month to $644. Three points and $3,600 is a lot, but you're getting $174 a month cheaper payment. And in less than two years, you'll pay that off, and then you keep getting $174 cheaper a month payment for the rest of the loan. Notice that the mortgage came over here, and it took 80% of the purchase price since you said you're going to put 20% down. We're going to include the closing costs in our mortgage, so we click yes, and it's easy to switch it to no if uh, you didn't. Loan origination fee, so say we we're going to do the discount points and lenders charge half to 1%, we'll put 1%. And I put typical amounts for a lot of these in here um, so you can guess what they are. We'll just, I won't fill all these in, but you get the idea of just numbers to fill in and it should give you a total closing cost estimate here and that will roll that into the mortgage if you put yes. Second loan is pretty much the same way. I won't go through all this um, in terms of the costs and fees. Um, if you're going to get a second loan, you put the amount here, what the interest rate is, the loan period, and if it's an interest only, because it, will you be making just interest payments or will you be paying the principal as well? On the rehab costs, once you figure those in, put those in, will automatically figure in here, and um, it will want to know if you are putting the rehab costs into the second loan, it will ask you on that rehab calculator. So going to rehab costs, do we add it to the second mortgage? That's a simple drop down box, yes or no. And you put in all your rehab costs here, plus, which will total it up. Plus I add a cost overrun because I always seem to be too optimistic on my rehab costs. So maybe 10 to 15% would be good to put here. So then we go to the summary and it gives you what you're looking at each month, okay? For five years with the increases. Here is just a report. You can click on the different numbers as you're showing people different things, but um, no need to input anything here. What your total yearly income would be, it's nice to get $14,400 more than if you just bought a single family house. Um, mine is $1,200 a month that you're losing for uh, the place being vacant. I have yet to have any of my places vacant, but um, it can't hurt to be conservative. So here's what your net is. You get $720, say, from running out of garage or pay laundry for a total gross income of almost $14,000. Here's all your repairs and expenses. So that comes to about $8,500 a year. Um, you have $5,400 left over. Um, you're going to have to pay $8,052. So you're going to pay $2,600 a year, but $1,800 of it's going to principal reduction. So you're only paying $800 a year for your mortgage. That's less than $800 a month. Not a bad deal. Um, and then some ratios that I talk about in my book. You get $1,800 per square foot. Um, you're getting $1,740 income. And um, your gross rent, total income, and operating efficiency ratios as well. Your monthly profit or payments. So each month, this is what you're doing. You can see what your mortgage payment is going to be, $70, $60 a month, $50, once you uh, account for paying off the principal. You're going to have to pay the principal, so you really have to add the $150 and $71, but your tenants are kind of paying down that as well, or you're getting a very cheap interest rate on your loan. Look at that one. And then the first and second amortization just show you by month how much you're paying off on your loan, um, which is... Uh, should go down very quickly if you decide to put any extra than those 60 or 70 dollars a month plus the principal. Hopefully that helps and uh, if, again if you have any questions please feel free to contact me at hal at homeswithoutpayments.com.
Thank you.